What's going on, YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys part 13 for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, scroll down a little bit, smash that like button for me, and subscribe to the channel as it helps out tremendously. So guys, in the last episode, we actually completed our fifth dungeon, the Catfish's Mall, and in this episode, we're going to be doing a bunch of side quests and heading to a new area and obtaining the key for the sixth dungeon. So first order of business, we actually want to take out our ocarina, play Mambo's Mambo, so we can actually fast travel to the Yuku Prairie and actually head back to Mabe Village, because we want to actually go to the Ye old Claw Shop. You guys know the deal. We got to go get a figurine from there, place it on a pedestal, then we can get moving on with these missions and all that. So we're going to fast travel over there, do our little Pegasus boot run. Look at that. Mm, we speed it now. I, I hope we can get the blue tunic later. That'd be sick that we can get both the tunics. I think that'd be cool. But we're going to make our way all the way down here, chomping up all this grass. You know, you guys know the deal. And head inside. What is it called? The Frenzy Game Shop? I forget what it's called. We haven't been here in a little bit. The Trendy Game Shop. That's what it's called. We actually want to get that cheap, cheap figure right there. Trendy Game. One play. Ten rupees. Let's get it. Let's get it. The buttons move the crane. The rest is just time. Good luck. Okay, let's get this, guys. We're going to go here. It's looking spiffy. Real good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Know that, ladies and gentlemen. That should be a good grab right there. Get in here, fishy. Look at that. Mwah. Beautiful. Beautiful. That fish ain't coming out. He ain't coming out. Let's go. Drop him off there. And we can actually start taking him to the pedestal. Then moving on with the missions. And then all the collectibles that we got to get. Challenge again? Uh, no. Let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. So now we got that. We can go pick it up and see it in all its glory. Look at it. Bang. You got the cheap, cheap figure. Disclaimer. Cannot actually fly. All right. It has wings, though. Well, they're fins, but they look like wings. <laughs> but now that we got that, we're going to go place on its pedestal, which is actually... Ooh, I stabbed the chicken. <gasps> Run! We killed the chicken. <laughs> We're actually going to head over to this little hut right here. I think it's like the grandma house or something. Or no, it's the old guy's house. But the pedestal is right here so we can actually get it. Is this a stand for something? It says cheap, cheap. Place the cheap, cheap figure here. Yeah, there you go. Look how pretty it looks. Yay, now we can move along. <laughs> the figure just cracked me up. Because you just like place them down and then that's it. Okay, guys, so now we're going to get moving on with the side missions on that collectibles. Oh, we almost stabbed another chicken. But we're going to head back up here into the mysterious forest as we can get a few items now that we couldn't get before. So let's just keep going here. Using our little Pegasus boot run and hit that tree because you got it. <laughs> I'm just playing. But we're actually going to make our way up here. Oh, dude, since we got this red mail, we just slap on these fools with one hit now. Like, what you want? Get out of my face. <laughs> We just whoop on him. What you guys want? Yo, dude, it's so much easier now. But if we actually come over here, you can see our little sensor went off. Let's kill this pig first. And we can actually bring out our shovel. And we can dig right in the middle here. Come on, dig, Link. Bang! Grab ourselves a secret seashell, which is awesome. Let's keep moving along here. And now if we keep moving forward here, we can actually see that we got these rocks that we had that we saw in like the beginning of the game but we cannot move them but now that we got that bracelet from like the second dungeon but now we're finally coming back here we can move this but we need the hook shot also to get grooving here so we're gonna hook shot over here open up this chest give me that rupees baby we gotta grind back up considering we spend a thousand on the bow and arrow that we haven't even used yet but we're gonna be using a little bit in this episode but we're gonna grab this piece of heart then get grooving out of here guys we are cooking on this playthrough we are cooking ladies and gentlemen when I say cooking, I mean we are cooking, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot of stuff done so far. We have 12 hearts. We have a ton of seashells so far. We are starting to get towards the, po the end of the game. <gasps> ah! These guys don't split anymore because we just murk them real quick. But we can actually hop over this thing and come around back here. What you want? Bang. Come over here. We got another uh, seashell going off. So if you actually dig right over here, we actually need our shovel out again. Come here, shovel. Dig right here. We're just opening... With all the leaves are, you get yourselves another secret seashell, which is just dandy. Let's go, let's go. Now we're going to make our way back up here. And if you guys remember, we have this letter from the trading side quest. And Mr. Wright said you needed a letter. So we go over here and we talk to him. We can actually trade him the letter. We give it to him. Look at, look at how happy he is. What's this? A letter for me? I'm so happy. Look at him. He opens it up. And look, the letter came with a photograph. I think this is cool. It's a, it's a picture of Princess Peach. <laughs> Like, I have no idea. It's just so funny. Hmm, she's so beautiful. I must give you something for your troubles. Hmm, well, it looks like all I have is this broom. How'll that be? Yeah, dude, I'll take your broom. Give it up! Let's go. You got the broom as a reward for Mr. Wright. But the photo was not of. Well, we can keep going here. And grooving along. We're gonna make our way over here. Actually finish up a few things. What you want, fools? Get out of my face. Little moblins. 
Get out of here. We're gonna head inside this cave right here. I actually want to switch back to the hook shot. So we can make our way here. Grab this chest. I believe there's just rupees in the chest, right? Yeah, we get a nice little 20 rupees, which is not bad. Just dandy. And we can actually hop back here and run this way. And grab this chest. Oh! Leave me alone, shoes. Pick this up. Yay! Oh, we threw it over his head. <laughs> we can get ourselves more rupees. This is 50 rupees. Very nice, very nice. Slap on that fool and actually make our way down here before we start heading back to a different village. If we come over here, you're gonna realize, yay, our seashell sensor went off again. We're just gonna chop off all everything. But right where this little plane is, I need my shovel again. <laughs> we're gonna bring out a shovel. Oh, one behind, and there it is. See, seashell is right there. We're actually gonna be collecting a good amount of them in this episode and probably head to the seashell mansion because I think we'll have enough to get the next reward. But we can actually bring out our ocarina once again, and we're gonna fast travel to Animal Village and keep continuing on with these side missions and then get moving on with the main mission. Let's get it, let's get it. I actually like the place that we're about to go to. It is such like a cool, like you guys will see, it's just like, it's just a very well designed place. It's the ancient ruins and it just looks so cool. But since we have that broom, we're actually gonna be finishing up this trade side quest too in this video. So we're gonna come up here and talk to this old lady right here cause she's the one who wants the broom. Yahoo, yahoo, a new broom for me? It is, isn't it? Yes it is, here you go, take it, it's all yours. Okay, in return, you can have this fishing hook I found when I swept by the riverbank. Oh, you're the best. She's the best. That is just dandy. Let's go. You exchange the broom for the fishing hook. What will the fishing hook become? I don't know what will it become. But now we got to get grooving on and find the guy who wants the fishing hook. So your first thought would be like, oh, maybe we should go back to the fishing game all the way back in Mabe Village. But if you actually make your way all the way this way. Ah, oh, we hit the electric guy. But if you actually make your way all the way this way, you can actually... Just dodge all these enemies first and hop down here. And as you can see, there's one rock missing. You can actually swim under this bridge right here. And it brings you to like a nice little fishing place. Look at this. We are under the bridge. It looks so different from here. And the fishing dude's right here. So we can actually crawl up here and hop up here and talk to this fish guy. Oh, what is that you have in your hand? It's not a fishing hook, is it? You had better let me have it. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. Yeah, sure, take it. Let's see what we got. Keep your eyes open and watch a pro at work. Look at him, dude. This guy's a stud at fishing. We get his next catch. My, that's a big one. Yay. <laughs> and he catches. The fishing hook becomes a necklace. L -l Lucky. <laughs> but now we get a necklace and we got to figure out who to trade that with. But as you guys do recall, when we talked to the mermaid a couple episodes ago, she actually wanted a necklace. So we we're actually just going to make our way out here. Start swimming this way. Oh my God. Leave me alone, Zora. And head her way over to this little mermaid right here what's up girl how you doing mermaid oh that's it that's my necklace give it give it back i'll give you a scale as i said here there you go now we're gonna go down there and rip a scale off of her like give me that boy promise you only take one now nah, we took like five <laughs> i'm just playing you returned a necklace and got a scale of the mermaid's tail how will this use so this is actually the last item that we actually are going to trade for the trade mission is basically done we just have to go cash in the scale over here and actually get the reward for this whole trade mission, which is actually, it's a pretty solid reward. But we're gonna make our way this way. In order to get to where we wanna go, we actually just have to make our way all the way back around where that bridge was. And instead of hopping off, there's a different route we can take. But let's just keep moving along and dodge these electric shoes. We're gonna bring out our hook shot also. Get slapping over here. Hey, what's your problem? As you can see, we got these boxes that, oh my God, this punk's over there. We stunned them. Oh my God, he's blocking my path. Stop it! You can actually stun enemies with the hook shot. Like these electric enemies, you can stun them and then hit them. But we can actually make our way over here. And as you can see, there's like a hole right here on this little mermaid statue. And if we check it, we can place the scale on there. You put the missing scale on the mermaid statue. She will slide over and it'll open us up a little secret tunnel, which our reward will be down here. Let's go. We finally finished this trade mission after 13 parts of the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And what is it? It's a magnifying glass. <laughs> you got the magnifying lens. This will reveal many things you couldn't see before. So this thing is actually very, very cool. So like, th uh, things around the island will pop up that we never seen before. It won't like change, like drastically change. Like there'll be like people like in hiding, like secret little things that will just like, like you need 100% in order to get some things. Like I'll show it off real quick. Actually, we got, ah, you punk. I was gonna take him out, but we're good. We're gonna actually start making our way up here. Yo, you punk, yo, I keep thinking you're just grass. Yo, leave me alone. We're gonna run up here. We're gonna head back to Animal Village and collect two more things before, or maybe a couple more things. Yeah, we're gonna collect a couple more things before we, before we actually move on with the main mission. If you guys actually head back inside this hut and talk to Christine, the one who gave you the letter, 
after you trade it, you come back to here, she'll give you a secret seashell, which is just awesome. So now we can get moving along. If we actually head to the building right next to it, right here, last time there was nothing in it. We went in here, there was absolutely nothing in it. But now that we have the magnifying lens, we can talk to this guy who was here. He said, hey, you can see me? You must have a magnifying glass. I'm not a troublemaker. I just want to live in peace. I'll give you this if you promise to keep your mouth shut. All right, dude, we promise. And he gives us another seashell. You found a secret seashell? Oh, okay, we already, we already read that like 10 times. It's fine, it's fine. A promise is a promise, okay? You got it. Hey, you should head out to the cave at Taranbo Shores. Use the magnifying glass, and you'll find someone else just like me. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Nice little, nice little hint right there. There we go. One more thing we want to do before we actually get grooving along is... Which way we want to head? We actually want to head down this way and wrap around this little area right here. What? What? Give me that grass. Give me that grass. We're actually gonna take this tree down. Give me that apple. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> we can actually eat this apple and regain a few hearts. Let's see how many does it give us. Does it give us two and a half? Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah, it does, baby. Let's get it. All right. So now that we finish up all that, we're actually gonna make our way up here. And if you guys do recall, there's a cave up here that we couldn't get anything in the beginning because we didn't have the hook shot. Do we have the hook shot out? We probably don't. We do, which is just awesome. Now that we have the hook shot out. We can actually hop over here. Take a little shortcut here, hop this, or fall in the hole, <laughs> hop this way, and we can actually take out our bombs and arrows at the same time. This is such a cool touch. If you have your bombs out with your bow and arrows, and you shoot your bow, you shoot a, wait a minute, how do you do it? Wait just a minute, there's a way, there we go, if you hit them at the same time, that's what it is, you can shoot a bomb arrow, which is just awesome, I think it's very cool. I thought, I thought maybe you would just shoot your arrow and it would do it. But we could shoot a bomb arrow if you press them at the same time. We could blow that up and grab ourselves this piece of heart. Oh, I think we're getting another heart here. Did we get another heart? Yeah, we got 13 hearts now. We are racking it up. We can actually fall down here. Get out of here, shoes. We're just going to do a stab run. Get out of here, bitty bats. Get out of here, bitty bats. What you want? We can actually make our way back out this cave because... Yo, what's your problem? What's your problem? Use our hook shot to get over here. And then make our way out this cave. Let's get it. Let's get it. So now that we made it out of this cave, we're going to bring out Mambo's Mambo back again. And we are going to sing a nice little song and actually head to the Seashell Mansion because I think we have enough in order to get the third item for it. Did you see the lady in the bottom left corner with her broom? She's like all happy that we traded her the broom, which is awesome. Get out of here, pigs. You little oinkers. Oh, no, no, we missed. He was throwing a spear at us, but we're going to head inside the Seashell Mansion now and actually step on this little pedestal and see if we can level it up to the third. Come on. I think we got it. We got we've been getting a plenty amount. This is a, this is the farthest one right here. And we got it. We passed it. Let's get it. Let's get it. What is our reward? Give me my present. It's Christmas again. Let's go. Open this up. What we got? What we got? A stone. <laughs> you got a chamber stone. Holding it gives you this eerie feeling. So we'll actually find out what that does in another episode. We're just chilling right now. We're chilling. But we're actually no, we don't need the map. We're actually just gonna head down this way. Fight all these little oinka boos. Oinky booze. <laughs> hey, yo, Octorok, get out of my face. We're actually gonna head back this way. And actually head into this little path that we made a while ago. A couple episodes ago. Maybe a few episodes ago. But we can actually swim this way. If you guys do recall, there was this piece of heart right here that we couldn't get without the flippers. But now we can dive down and grab it, which is awesome. You got a piece of heart. Let's go, let's go. And we can actually make our way this way now that we have this little item right here. The Pegasus Boots. So we can sat through there and we can actually make our way to this other side right here. Hey! What's your problem? We can actually make our way this way because we head down last time, I think, to Animal Village. Now we can head up this way, which is cool. And my boy Mr. Owl coming out. What's up, dog? How's your day going? Who? There are two shrines. One to the north, the other to the south. First head south where the ancient ruins speak of the windfish. You will learn much there. Thank you, Mr. Owl. So we're going to have to head to that shrine because there are two. But we always follow Mr. Out. He always knows what's up. He always knows what's going on. So we're going to start off over here. This is the cool place I was talking about. Is right here. This little place over here. It's the ancient ruins. I think it's so cool. We're actually going to make our way here. Ah, leave me alone. That guy shoots bombs and all that. But we can make our way to the ancient ruins. And start chopping up all these fools. What you want? But we got these guys. We're actually going to need our hook shot. Because this comes in clutch. We can actually stun these guys. Lift them up and just throw them out of our way. Because we don't have to deal with them anymore. <laughs> here we go. Moving along here. What you want, fool? Come out here. Hop out here. Come here. Yo, what you want, Chew? <laughs> Just slam the Chew on here. Is there anything down here? I don't believe so. We're good. We're chilling. We're going to make our way this way. And then come over here. What you want? Get out of here. This guy comes alive. I don't get why we get piece of powers. Can we, like, double up on attack buffs? Hop over here. What you want, fool? Get out of here. 
But if you actually make your way over to this guy right here, he will start to move and open up a secret path for us, which we're just gonna head inside. Start doing our little thing, and look at this. We got a chest, and as you can tell, our shell sensor went off, and it's another secret seashell, which is just dandy. Just awesome. Let's go, let's go. Dude, look how cool this place is. I don't know, I love it so much. It's just such a cool looking thing. Get over here, boy. All right, so we're gonna trigger him, pick him up, get out of here, get out of here, Chew. We're, we're sick of you guys. We are sick of you guys. Can we actually head this way? Let me check what's over here. What you got, buddy? What's over here? Oh, yes, this is the way we want to go. We actually want to head over this way. Is this the way we want to go? Yes, this is the way we want to go. We actually trigger this guy. What you want, fool? Yo, get out of here. Get out of here. Let me through. We can actually make our way up this way. After we get all these guys out of my way. Can we actually throw these guys at each other to see if they kill each other? No, they do not kill each other. But we can actually make our way up to this little temple right here, which is so cool. I love it so much. Just look, this is what I was saying. Just the way this place looks is awesome. But we're actually going to bring out our bow for this little action right here. We got anything in here? We got arrows. This is kind of like an indication that you need your bow out here. But we got this guy. Look at this boss. He's like a minotaur giant moblin with armor. He is such a cool looking enemy. And we can start whapping on him. What you want, fool? What you want? Oh, uh, we should we should jump there. What you want? I think we gotta get around back with him. Yeah. Get out of here. What you want? What you want, fool? There we go. We actually have to pull out our bow. I figured it out. I figured it out. You have to pull out your bow and shoot him in the face. Oh, we are low on hearts. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even realize how much damage we took. We're gonna bring out this fairy and actually reel up some hearts. Let's bring out our bow again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you want, fool? Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god, this guy's doing damage to us. What you want, fool? Oh, can we actually hook shot that off him? Can we actually hook shot that off him? We gotta bring out another fairy. This guy's whooping on us. I don't really know the mechanics for him. There we go. Heal up. We got tons of hearts now. Let's bring out our hook shot. See if we can hook shot that off him. Oh my lord. Stop stunning me. Stop it! <laughs> Luckily we got the medicine too. What you want? Oh my lord. We hit him once with the bow. So we're going to bring back out the bow here. So guys, what we actually want to do here is spin attacks. Because I believe spin attacks will pull on him real quick. There we go, and now that we can knock off his little helmet, or his shield, we can actually bring out our bow and shoot him in the face. Look at his face opening up. No! We are on half a heart. Oh my god, we lived with half a heart and saved our medicine, which is just awesome. And we obtained the next key for the dungeon. Oh my god. We couldn't figure out what to do. We just had the spin attack. You got the face key, which is awesome. We are on legit half a heart. We cannot take a hit. Do we have anything to heal up? No, we used our fairies and all that. We're going to bring back out our hook shot. And make our way up here. Actually, we can actually light these things with our magic powder. And we got this like ancient relic of the wind fish on the wall. This is what he looks like. To the finder, the Isle of Kahoma is but an illusion. Human, monster, sea, sky. A scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer of Kahoma will vanish much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away, you should know the truth. What? Illusion? So, that rel kind of just says that everything's an illusion here. And we are but a dreamer, which is pretty crazy. Come on, show me like a fairy in here. What we got? Any hearts? Dang it! <laughs> Nothing. Dude, we're on half a heart. This is crazy. But as we make our way out here, our boy comes back, Mr. Owl. What's up, big dog? How's your day going? What's up? Hoot, I see you have read the relief. While it does say the, isle, the island is but a dream of the windfish, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it, so you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. The only one who knows for sure is the windfish. Trust your feelings, someday you will discover the answer. Thank you, Mr. Al. So we're just going to keep pushing along with the main mission here to awake the windfish, but we are on half a heart. Like, what is going on here? We're going to bring out our hook shot here. We cannot take any hits. <gasps> oh, we got a heart. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get out of here, boy. We don't want to take hits from you. Give me another heart. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Look at us go. We are slowly getting back up here. Get out of here, boy. We're just going to start making our way back to the beginning of this little ancient ancient ruins right here because we cannot fast travel here. Come here, buddy. Let's stun you. Throw you. Show me another heart. Oh, he did drop a heart, which is awesome. Give me another one. 
Dude, we're getting some hearts. Let's go. Give me some hearts. No! <laughs> this is the way we want to go? Yeah, this is the way we want to go. We're going to head back this way. Get out of here, boy. Yes, yeah, another heart! Oh my god, we're starting to stack up, which is awesome. Get out of here. You out my face, dog. Give me one. Give me a heart. Oh, but we'll take a rupee. We're just going to make our way this way. Pick up. Oh no, we triggered two of them, didn't we? Oh, he hit me. You punk. Just as we were doing good. Okay, there we go. We got another heart. Now we don't have that annoying sound going on, but we can actually start making our way this way. Oh, what you want, fool? We can stun you. Start making our way over here. Just pelt you with a rock. Get out of my face, dude. And start making our way up this way. Because this is the other way. This is towards the next dungeon, which is awesome. And if we actually come over here, we're going to realize the sensor goes off once again. Come over here, and there's a seashell under this rock. Bang, baby. Let's go. Let's go. You found a secret seashell? Blah, 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 blah. You know the deal. You guys know the deal. It's just gonna say, oh, you found another one. <laughs> but we are low on hearts still. Come on, show me some more hearts. Anything in these bushes? Nah, nothing in the bushes. But we're just gonna keep making our way this way. Can we throw this over there? Oh, oh my lord, we picked that fool. We can actually come over here and make our way into this cave right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bomb this wall, baby. Let me bring out the hook shot once again and make our way in here. Let's get it. What we got in here? <gasps> a fairy, yes! Thank you so much! Let's talk to her. Let's heal your wounds and get rid of all the stress. Close your eyes and relax. You got it. <laughs> Thank God there's a fairy fountain in here. Let's go. Replenishes all of our hearts, which is just awesome. You can actually come here anytime when you need to replenish of hearts. And bang, let's get it. Thank you, great fairy fountain. We're actually going to come over here and start swimming this way around here. Because we are almost done. We are making our way to the next dungeon. And if you come over here and just come to the left one right here, you can actually stun him. Watch this. Watch this snipe. Oh, no. We can't snipe him that way. There's walls here. But we can head down into this little tunnel right here and start making our way over here. Hey, you little punk. What you want? Hey! I'm trying to do things here. We can actually hook shot all the way across here and actually make our way into here. And look where we end up at. We end up at the face keyhole. And we're going to put the key in there and open up our sixth dungeon. Let's get it, baby. I'm so hyped for this. Look at this. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. This is just like a... That's why I said this area is so cool. But guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be taking on our sixth dungeon and obtaining our sixth instrument. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.